2021 has seen a lot of changes with the NCAA, and it look it it was long overdue with NIL and and those type of things. But the latest thing is Texas and Oklahoma going to the SEC and how that can impact this whole idea that college football will eventually go to super conferences, which I will tell you I am in favor of. I do think the NCAA uh, hopefully at the end of all this have four super conferences, and that way. Because you've already expanded the, the playoffs, there is no incentive for a team like Texas or OU to stay inside the Big 12. Why? I can get in that large bid now. So expanding the playoffs, this comes with expanding the playoffs, which is why I just was I was not in favor of, it's one of many reasons why I wasn't in favor of um, expanding the playoffs. Heck, I, I, I still think the college football would be fine if they didn't have any playoffs at all. But now what you have with college football, because you are going to expand it for the college football playoffs, it's going to go to super conferences. The regular season is going to mean less because now, you know, I can take one or two losses and still get in. At one time, you couldn't do that. One or two losses, you're done. Now, one or two losses, if I feel if I finish third in the SEC, psh, I'm probably still getting a bid. They're not putting a group of five or the remaining five or whatever they want to call themselves. They're not putting them in over Florida, if they finish third, or Georgia, if they finish third, or Texas, if they finish third. Are you kidding me? So, you know, that was the problem with this whole expanding the playoffs and going to the playoffs. Because now what you want to get is you're going to get the NFL. You're going to get the NFL. College football, college athletics as a whole, is a multi-billion dollar business that is acting like a multi-billion dollar business. This is going to impact the NCAA tournament. Um, when it comes to basketball, because in these super conferences, I'm sure the conferences will start breaking up into little divisions within the conference, so on and so forth. You're going to get that. Uh, so for me, uh, this the fans asked for it. They wanted a playoff so bad. Well, you got to take the good and the bad that comes with that. And this is some of the things that's going to happen. So, you know, I've been watching college football since the 1970s. There have been a lot of changes in college athletics since the 1970s. Um, so I don't want to hear about change and how it's bad and it'll put off the fans. I mean, my generation, we've seen so much change. None of us have gone anywhere from college athletics. We saw when the NCAA tournament was like 32 teams. You had to, you had to win your conference to go. You know, we saw when they expanded it to 53 and everyone's like, that's too many. Now, and that was like 68, you know, and so you cannot sit around there and pick and choose when you want to grip the tradition and kill change and then say, well, if there's a bunch of change, people quit watching. Stop, because there's been so much change since my generation. If people want to stop watching because of change, we would have stopped watching a long time ago. The NCAA has to understand that um, for all the people who want to hang on to this, this fairy tale world, that the NCAA was this um, this nonprofit that looks out for student athletes first. Stop! It was never that. It's a multi billion dollar business that acts like a multi billion dollar business. So yeah, if if you're going to go, hey man, go full bore. So I can understand why Texas and OU left to go to the SEC, and I like the fact that they did. You wanted the playoffs. You have the playoffs. You take everything that comes with the changing landscape of college athletics so you can have your precious playoffs.